This is going to be the first of a new series of videos about habits and how they affect high performance. It's not going to be every day, I'll mix them up over a period of time, but this was the first one today. So just keep it really simple today and it's entitled, Does Your Brain Control Your Environment or Does the Environment Control Your Brain? Let me give you an example. So if, if you get up every day at the same time and you reach over and hit the alarm with the same hand, you get out of bed on the same side, you go downstairs and have a shower and you wash your body in the same way every day, you have the same breakfast, you drive to work on the same, same roads, you walk into office, have the same conversations with the same people, you get the same shit from the same people giving it to you every day and you take it and you carry on and the day goes on like that and you keep repeating that cycle every day, then what is happening is that you, you, you are not being creative. You don't need to be creative, so you're not growing in any way. There's no new circuitry being created in your brain. Now, the flip side of that is that if you want to be more creative in everything that you do, then just mix it up a little bit. Get out the other side of the bed. Have something different for breakfast. Have your breakfast before you have your shower. Take your wife's car to work. Drive a different road. Say different things to the people when you go in the office. When people give you shit, shout them down. Have a go at them. Mix it up a little bit so you change the routine every day. It's not exactly the same. It's not habitual every day. And that will produce new circuitry in your brain and allow you to be more creative. So you think about you in your situation. Does your brain control your environment? Or does your environment control your brain? Which way around is it for you? Think about it. I'll see you for video number two.